My name is Jim McKinney. I'm one of two lead instructors here at Butts Prep, and my job is to prepare our students for Butts. The way we do that is through our distance swims in the pool, our long distance runs at the track, our sand PTs, our surf PTs at Lake Michigan, our push-ups, our weight training, our sit-ups, our pull-ups, and a lot of mental toughness classes that we have here. The best way we tell our students to prepare in order to get here healthy is to obviously do more running programs, get themselves healthy, do prehab type workouts, which is on the sealswick.com webpage. We want to see more preparation. Obviously, you can't prepare enough. We see a lot of students fail out just on the basic swims, the basic runs, they get the, in the injuries, shin splints, the stretch fractures on a 10 mile a week run basis the first week. That's not going to cut it at Buds. The problem we see here at Buds Prep are the students are not familiar with using our jet fins. Most of the students we have come from a different background where they're not aquatic related, so to speak. Our best recommendation for kids in high school or college coming to our program is to wear the fins in their training regimen before they get here and slowly break their ankles in. What we see here is guys swim our workouts. We swim 12,000 meters a week, and again, we go for a long run after that, and usually their ankles are shot. The guys who have great ankle flexibility, come from a swim background that utilizes fins, have no injury problems whatsoever. Our best advice would be to prepare themselves mentally and physically for the training. Obviously, it, everyone talks about it being very physical, but it is 90% mental. During your training programs, you can't just train for the PST, the, the minimum requirements. You have to realize you're going to first phase of BUDS, which is one of the hardest training programs in the U.S. military. You have to train to realize that Hell Week is three weeks into first phase. What I mean by mental toughness, I mean don't just do the 42 minimum push-ups for the PST. You have to realize you're doing hundreds upon hundreds of sets of push-ups at BUDS. When you get to Hell Week, those push-ups, those hundreds of push-ups get into thousands in a day. So 42 push-ups, bare minimum, is not going to cut it when you guys do your training do beyond 42, push it that extra 10%, that extra 20%. That'll build yourself physically tougher and it'll build your, your mind power to make yourself mentally stronger for BUDS. In order to prepare for the rigorous training at BUDS, if you're still in high school, we recommend you playing multiple sports. No more Xbox, you can't play a little bit. Get outside, get some vitamin D, play some soccer, get in the pool and swim laps with your buddies, go surfing. Just be outside and be active. Prepare your bodies for the stress that's gonna happen when you go to BUDS. Obviously, it's the hardest training in the U.S. military for a reason.